Here's the quick way to determine units for a rate constant in chemistry. So when you're given a chemical reaction with kinetics, you'll usually be asked to calculate the rate constant. Now the most common mistake the ops will try to mark points off is for choosing the wrong units with this constant. One way to avoid this phantom tax would be to memorize all the units for each of the different reaction orders. But honestly, this is kind of whack, and you already have way too many other things to memorize in chem. So here's an easy clap way to just do it live. First things first, you gotta determine the overall reaction order by looking at your rate law and adding up all the exponents of your reactants. Once you have this, the quick trick for finding the units of K is to take molar over seconds and divide this by molar to the whatever power your reaction order was. So in this example, the overall reaction order is three, or third order. So the units for K are molar over seconds divided by molar to the third, which doing some light work algebra gets you one over seconds molarity squared. The reason why this works is that for a given rate law, the left side of the equation is the rate at which the concentration of your reactants are being consumed, which is measured in molar per second. This means on the right side, we need the total units to also be molar per second. Now for a general rate law, all of these reactant terms are concentrations, which is the molarity measured in molar. So we need to figure out the units of K such that the total units become molar per second. In this example, we had molar times molar squared, which gave us molar to the third. So now this means K needs to be one over seconds molarity squared. Plugging in to check, we get seconds on the bottom, and then the molar squared cancels out all but one of the molars on the top. This gets you the right answer of molar over seconds. It also works for any other reaction order, such as a zeroth order reaction, where there are no units on the right from the reactant terms. So the units for K just have to be molar over seconds. For a first order reaction, there's at least one molarity provided from the reactant terms. So all K needs to be is one over seconds, which gets you molar over seconds, and you're done. And there you have it. That's how to figure out the units for a rate constant in chemistry. Nice!